Hi, welcome to my topic, Circuits and Networks. I am Raikant Malajoshira, and today we are going to discuss another easy theorem, which is known as Milman's theorem. What does Milman's theorem states? So Milman's theorem states, uh, if at all you look at this figure one and figure two, figure one can be changed to figure two with the help of Milman's theorem, and it states if there are n number of voltage sources in series with internal resistances arranged in parallel as shown in figure 1 that is what is trying to say is that v1 is a voltage source r1 is the series resistance with this voltage source now this type of arrangement are arranged parallelly to one another and if at all this arrangement is repeated for n number of times so this entire circuit or network in figure 1 can be changed to figure 2 with Vm and Rm, where Vm can be treated as Milman's voltage and Milman's resistance. So how to find out Milman's voltage, which is given by V1 G1 plus V2 G2 plus V3 G3 plus so on Vn Gn whole divided by G1 plus G2 plus G3 so on till Gn. Then what is G? G is known as the conductance, which is reciprocal to resistance, whose value of Gm can be obtained as Gm is equal to G1 plus G2, so on till Gm. So this theorem, it needs to get proved with analysis. For that, I am taking this figure 1. You can see all the voltages are in series with resistors and this series arrangement is placed parallel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this X and Y reference frame like this. Between X and Y, you have common node points, fine. So from the source transformation, V1 in series with R1 can be changed to I1 parallel to R1. This we are seeing with the help of source transformation. Now, if this is true, the next immediate series arrangement can be replaced by I2 parallel to R2 and so on. You can repeat till I and R. Now, you can see figure 1 is successfully changed to this particular network. Now, once we obtain this network, we can apply the KCL at common node points. X and Y are the common node points. Between X and between Y, you have parallel resistors and you have all the sum of the currents. Algebraic sum of the currents in a particular node is equal to zero. According to the definition of KCL, we are going to get IM, which is a total current, which can be replaced. This all individual source currents, which is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, so on till IN. So all the current sources are replaced by IM. Now once IM is obtained, what is I1 actually? I1 is nothing but V1 by R1. This we have seen according to the Ohm's law. I2 it will be equal to V2 by R2, which we have derived from the given figure 1 circuit. And so on, IN is equal to Vn by RL. Now R is the reciprocal to conductance. So I can write R1 as G1. Agree? So V1 G1 plus V2 G2 so on Vn Gn. So Im is equal to the numerator formula what we got here. So Im can be replaced by V1 G1 so on plus Vn Gn. Now once the Im is obtained, I can also obtain the value of Gm which is nothing but reciprocal to the parallel resistors. All the resistors are arranged in parallel. So 1 by R parallel is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 so on till 1 by Rm. So this 1 by Rm is nothing but it is equal to Gm. Clear? So this is what we have done here. So 1 by Rm can be replaced which is equal to G1 plus G2 plus so on till Gn. So this is the technical proof. In fact, theoretical proof what we can analyze using KCL to the given problem. Now let us see whether we can employ this theorem in order to solve the 
different problems. Before that, I'm finding out the equivalent circuit. So I have obtained the values of IM and GM with the help of GM is equal to 1 by RM. And I have made equal at this again parallel arrangement is changed to series where you can have VM is equal to IM multiplied RM which is equal to IM by GM and VM value is this RM value is equal to 1 by GM. So uh, once I obtain the value of RM VM I can easily find out the Millman's equivalent circuit. So as I told you let us apply this theorem to obtain the result for different problems. In this particular problem we need to find out the current through 12 ohms. So this is the 12 ohms here. So here we need to find out the current. Okay. Now we are going to apply Milman's theorem. So just to, in order to identify the result properly, I have taken X terminal, Y terminal, where we need to find out the branch current which is flowing in 12 ohms. This we have to do with the help of Milman's theorem. So what I'm going to do, I'm removing this 12 ohms from the given circuit. Okay. And then I'm going to apply Milman's formula, Milman's voltage formula, and then I'm going to apply Milman's resistance formula. So we have taken this 12 ohms aside, okay. And for the rest of the circuit, we are going to apply the VM formula. So we have three branches here. This is one branch, this is one branch, and this is one branch connected to the common node points X and Y. So V1 is 8, G1 is equal to 1 by 4. Agree? Right. Then if V1 is equal to 8, then it's understood that V2 value will be equal to minus 1. Multiplied with G2, G2 is equal to 1 by 3. Then you have another series arrangement of voltage with resistance 2 ohms. So it becomes V3, that is positive V3 which is equal to 10 volts. Multiplied to G3 which is 1 by 2. Whole divided by G1 plus G2 plus G3. So G1 will be 1 by 4, G2 will be 1 by 3, G3 will be 1 by 2. So that is how we have substituted the value. With this, we can obtain the value of Vm, which is equal to 3 by 13 by 12. This 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 gives the value as 13 by 12. And simplifying the equation, we will obtain the value of Vm is equal to 2.769 volts. Now, once we obtain the value of Vm, let us obtain the value of Rm. So, Rm is equal to 1 by Gm, which is equal to 1 by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2, which is equal to 1 divided by 13 by 2, which is equal to 12 by 13. Technically, the value is 0 0.923 ohms. Now, once we obtain the value of Vm, Rm, we can connect the load which is 12 ohms over here. Vm, we obtain the value as 2.769 volts. Rm is equal to 0 0.923 ohms. And finally, we can find, get the value of current I is equal to Vm divided by Rm plus Rl, which is equal to 2.769 divided by 0 0.923 plus 12. This will give you the value as 0 0.21. 4 to 6 amperes. So this is how we solve the problem using Milman's theorem. In order to get a better idea, let us go with the another example. Here we need to find out the current I flowing in 8 ohms using Milman's theorem. Now prior applying to Milman's theorem, what are the techniques I can employ in order to get the answer across 8 ohms? I can go for mesh analysis, node analysis, any network theorems what we have seen in our previous classes in this particular circuit in order to understand the effect of Milman's theorem first let us go with the normal approach I'll apply a node A over here and I'll go for KCL I'm applying KCL at node A why I'm going to apply KCL at node A see we have two nodes here. Strictly speaking, there are two nodes. One node here, one node here, and another is a reference node that you can treat as zero. So one node is here. And here, though the node is there, since 24, 
actually minus 24 is parallel to 6. So in fact, I know the value of voltage over this particular node. If I'm going to treat this node as node B, so the value of node voltage B will be equal to minus 24 volts. So with one step, I can obtain the value of BA because the known voltage is minus 24 volts at this particular node. So if at all I am going to apply KCL at this particular point, I'm going to get VA minus 12 by 4. This is the branch current. Assuming node A to be at higher potential, then you have another branch over here. So VA by 8 plus VA. As I told you, this node voltage is having the value as minus 24. So it becomes VA minus of minus 24. So it becomes VA plus 24 by 2. Simplifying this equation, I'm going to get the value of VA, which is equal to minus 10.28 volts. Now, once we obtain the value of VA, we can easily obtain the value of I. I is equal to VA divided by the resistance 8 ohms. So, which is equal to minus 10.28 divided by 8, which will give you the value as minus 1.2857 amperes. So, this problem we have solved using node analysis in fact applying kcl at this particular node point and understanding that this node is having the voltage value as minus 24 volts let us employ milliman's theorem in order to get the same answer for easy analysis i have taken the node concept because most of the students are familiar with node analysis you can also employ mesh analysis you'll be getting three loops as Taking this one as loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. Take the three loop currents, simplify them, you will get the value of loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. The value of current i is equal to i1 minus i2. Is this clear? So, this is how you can cross the result. Now, let us see the impact of Milman's theorem. For Milman's theorem, we have to remove the load from the main circuit. So, I have removed this 8 ohms from the main circuit. Now, we know that this node is identified as A. And you can see this node is having on the left 12 in series with 4. So this is a series arrangement. Then you have 24 parallel to 6. Since 24 is parallel to 6, in fact, this minus 24 is going to apply across 6. You have 24 in series with 2. Now on the right hand side, you have minus 24 in series with 2. On flip side, you have 12 in series with 4. So that's why it can be applied easily. The Milman's theorem. So since we have two voltage sources, so it and uh, the resistors are changed to four in series with well, two is in series with minus twenty-four. So six is parallel to twenty-four minus twenty-four. This can be neglected. This resistance can be neglected. So you can see I have employed Milman's theorem. So twelve multiplied with G1, G1 is equal to one by R1. So one by four. V2, V2 is minus 24, G2 is 1 by R2. So this minus 24 is in series with 2. So that's why it is 1 by 2 divided by G1, 1 by 4 plus G2, 1 by 2. So this will give you the value as minus 12 volts. I hope you understand this technique. Then finding out Rm, Rm is equal to 1 by Gm. So directly it is equal to 1 by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. This will give you the value as 1.33 ohms. Once Vm Rm is obtained, we can connect the circuit where we need to find out the total current across 8. So Vm value, Rm value is substituted and I is equal to minus 12 divided by 1.33 which is Rm value plus the load 8 ohms which is equal to minus 1.2857 amperes. Now you can see whether we employ KCL or mesh analysis or any other technique and when we employ this Milman's theorem we got the same result. So this is how you can cross check the results um, and this is how you have to get grip over the different theorems in order to solve the problems smartly. So if you like my video of Milman's theorem please subscribe among your friends and press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.